Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rachel. Um, I'm doing another what I eat in a day on keto video. So <laughs> if y'all are interested in what I eat in a day, keep watching. All right, so every day, you know, I gotta start out with that coffee. Um, the first coffee of the day, I usually add some collagen peptides to and a little MCT oil. MCT oil actually helps you make more of your own natural ketones, so I really like adding that good source of fat in. This is like kind of my own version of Bulletproof coffee, and then sometimes I'll add cream as well. And then around noon, I go ahead and break my fast. Um, it's just when I usually get hungry, so I'm having eggs and sausage and a few blackberries today. About 10 blackberries has some really good fiber and you still get that vitamin C and all the good stuff for you. And then, okay. And then after lunch, I went ahead and had an exogenous ketone. It just helps with energy levels and hunger. I was so sleepy. My son has been really sick, so I need a little boost. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a turkey pizza, a keto turkey pizza. So over the weekend, we had, well, previously we had bought some frozen turkeys and put them in the freezer after Thanksgiving, and we made one over the weekend, and it's really, really good, but I don't feel like just turkey, so I'm gonna make a turkey pizza out of it, keto style. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Everybody else has already eaten. Well, my husband's already eaten. I'm gonna make my son some macaroni and cheese because he's not really gonna eat turkey pizza. And then this will just be for me. So here's how I make it. So I've got a copper skillet and I'm just gonna go ahead and preheat that. I put it on like five or six and I'm gonna get it really nice and hot. Okay, my pot is still getting hot. But what you wanna do is take some cheese. I'm gonna use some shredded mozzarella and some shredded cheddar and we're not going to use a crust the cheese is going to be our crust so what i'm going to do in a minute when this is hot is take like a fourth a cup of cheese see if that's enough and put it on the bottom and that's we're going to crisp it up so that it's our crust it's warm enough I've actually decided to go with a half a cup of cheese i'm just going to sprinkle that around here and that may be enough i think we're actually going to need more cheese i usually don't measure it to be honest I usually just do it till it looks right. It looks better. So we're gonna let that melt down. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of melting. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We don't want it to go too fast. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna make a nice crust and because we're using a copper pan, we're gonna let it cool a few minutes and then we'll be able to take it out of the pan. So still bubbling away. It's starting to get brown around the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it needs just a few more minutes. It's just about ready, so I'm going to go ahead and put some turkey on top. Now, I'm going to save the sauce. I'm going to use a sugar-free barbecue sauce to dip my slices in. I'm not going to put it on the pizza right now. I'm just going to get my protein on here to get incorporated into the cheese. It's actually ready to be pulled off the heat, so I'm going to move that away. That's our little macaroni bowl for Henry, my son. So I'm just gonna let that cool. So you wanna let the cheese set up now. So right now it's really, really gooey. You're gonna wanna kinda let it get firm again. But this is just gonna help warm up the turkey too, so. Just like that. Here we go. So we're gonna give it just a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start, see I'm starting to work it around the edge. Loosen that up. Almost ready to get out of the pan. Not quite. Bomb earlier today, I forgot to take a picture of it. So this is like a Reese's cut fat bomb. It's got a layer of, it's all made from coconut, coconut oil and peanut butter basically with some other ingredients. And I'll put a link in the bio to the recipe. But so it's got like a chocolate layer, a peanut butter layer, and a chocolate layer. So these are really, really good if you get like, so I'm gonna give it a go now. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scrape it. It's okay if you fold it in half or unfold it. This is not the most glorious pizza we've ever eaten. This one be good. So I'm gonna go over here and see if I can do it all. This is harder than it looks, guys, to get everything on the camera. Hold on. Struggle bus. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it over. Hopefully this isn't gonna get glass. I make these all the time with like eggs and now I'm like struggling. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna let that finish setting up. The cheese has gotta finish cooling off for us. 
Okay guys, so it should be cool enough to eat. I'm just gonna kind of eat it with a fork. And so I've got some jalapenos I'll probably top it with. Coke Zero, because nothing goes better with pizza than like Coke, to be honest. And I'm gonna use this as the sauce. How's your macaroni? Good. Did I make gum? Somebody's at the door. Ding dong. was literally like so good and so the doorbell ringing was our ketones coming and that was not even planned while well, I was like filming but these are Brian's I'm gonna guess that we got one time but I'll show you what they look like so these are the private ketones that we drink I had one earlier today like you guys saw I drink one or two a day I usually drink one for the gym and if I need a second one just for like an energy boost or something or if I'm just like starving um I'll have another one but it's backwards. Maybe I can invert this. Hold on. Oh, I'm such a genius. Jokes aside, guys, that's pretty much what I'm gonna eat today. Um, if I'm hungry later, I'll have a snack, maybe more turkey. There's like a ton of turkey in the fridge. Y'all know how Thanksgiving turkeys go, which is basically what we did. Um, I'll probably have a fat bomb because I'll get a sweet tooth a little bit later. And then if I feel like a drink, like an alcoholic drink, which sometimes I do, um, I've been really filling these Smirnoffs. They are spiked sparkling seltzer. The pina colada is my favorite. They're 90 calories, zero, zero, zero sugar, one carb, and four and a half percent alcohol. I kind of want to drink it right now, but it's a little bit early, but they're so good. And I'm a big wine person. I love Chardonnay and white wines. I'm not so much sweet wines, but dry wines. But wine can have a lot of carbs. So something else I've been doing, if I really just want a glass of wine, is like mixing it with some spiked seltzer because I still get that like feeling of wine with like a little bit less carbs. So that's a good tip too. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you got value out of this. If you like these what I eat in a day um, ketos, let me know. I, I feel like it's not very exciting. Like I had eggs and sausage and a ketone and some fat bombs. <laughs> I don't know, like a really easy pizza, but if you guys are interested, I will keep making these. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have questions below. And let me know if you do keto or if you're interested in keto or what you think of it. Um, obviously, this is a way that I choose um, to fuel my body. And it really, really works for me. I feel better on it. I'm less bloated. I have more energy. Um, I have celiac disease anyway, so I can't be eating gluten anyway, which gluten is wheat, barley, and rye, so this really works out for me. So yeah, drop your comments below and I can't wait to read them. Bye guys.